it's called soda consumption in the tropics, the trade-off between obesity in the area in developing countries. So it seems that in developing countries, the correlation between soda consumption and obesity rate is higher than in developed countries. So my hypothesis was that maybe it's because of the lack of um, uh, the poor access to um, safe water. So. Um, so if you have uh, poor access to safe water, if, uh, you may drink more soda instead of, you know, potentially contaminated water. So basically, I exploited a natural experiment in Peru, where the price of soda went down like 30 percentage point in the case of Lima, and the drop in price was not the same in all regions at the same time. So I exploit this huge drop in price in one place, and also difference across regions. And then I compare within region and with each time difference between a house that has pipe water and a house that does not have pipe water. And the idea is that houses with um, no pipe water have access to potentially contaminated water. So what I found is actually that in, place, in households where they don't have pipe water at home, the effect on weight, the effect on consumption is a lot higher, consumption of soda. The effect on weight is a lot higher, but also the diarrhea goes down. So we have these people are substituting um, carbonated soft drink for water, and um, and yes, they increase weight, but they are also decreasing the diarrhea prevalence. So really, government should think about um, increasing water, uh, I mean, to increase in safe water to um, poor places in. In, in the world, not just because they would reduce diarrhea, but because they can actually re reduce obesity prevalence.